Indeed. So for the last couple of winters, I have been struggling for solar, especially when it got to around solstice. And the awesome bloody pirate gave me an extra bit of a battered, broken solar panel last year. I'll put a link in the description if anyone wants to see that setup. Um, but this year, I thought, you know what, I'm going to be a functional human being and spend some capitalism on something that is actually an investment. So I have bought myself a fancy new solar setup. So I got the very, very important smiley face box, uh, which is for remote meter. Um, and then I got a fancy new controller and I've got some beautiful, beautiful panels. These are uh, 540 watt Canadian solar. Um, and I've got two of these. I've got one set up at the moment and one will be getting added at some point when I change it to, uh, to 24 volt. But that's a future project that I will definitely do a video for you guys about. Um, and yeah, so here is, here is my fancy solar setup as explained by a competent electrician. Okay, so we have we have a very very shy electrician and uh, and hand model here to tell us a bit about some solar. So if you're wanting to get a solar setup, what do you need? You need a panel and a charge controller and a battery. How does that all kind of go together? It's nothing to do with being shy. I'm just a hand model. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Right, sorry, not a shy electrician, <laughs> just a hand model. Okay, right, so what, what is... What is... So here we have a Canadian solar 540 watt panel, um, which runs at about 50 volts, um, which goes into the charge controller, which is a 40 amp charge controller, EPEVA. So this plugs directly into the charge controller via a dual pole breaker for safety. <laughs> Oh, that is a barking watchdog. <laughs> uh, there's two of these panels, um, so that will take the input up to just maybe 100 volts. So the charge controller can take 150 volts input, so that should be fine. Um, but in order to take the power rating of these two panels at 1000 watts, uh, we need to convert to 24 volt system. Okay. And then we'll run a DC to DC buck converter to drop it back down to 12 volts to go into the caravan. Hmm, that sounds very, very technical and complicated, and I am very, very glad that you're sorting this and not me. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so then we go on to the charge controller and the smiley face box. Okay, so this is this is my solar cop charge controller. Um, and to my understanding, this just takes the stuff from the power cells to the battery and moderates it so here's someone who actually knows what they're talking about to explain what it does so yeah what what is a solar car charge controller what does this thing do a uh, solar charge controller takes the power from the solar panels um, usually at high voltage dc and converts it into a charge dependent on your battery setup 12 24 48 um, this one can do 12 24 and 48 volts and this charges at 40 amps, assuming you can get 40 amps from the panels. This is for your temperature sensor. Those are all your connections for your panels and output. So panels, battery, and output. And this is the port for the smiley face box. Awesome. Yeah, got to get the smiley face box in there. That's the most important part. Okay, yeah, this is the smiley face box. This is this is the this is my level of technology. When it's on, it will give me a smiley face to show if my solar system is happy or if it's sad, or you might get a slightly worried looking face, which is when to start turning things off. Um so yeah, so what does the smiley face box what is the smiley face box and uh, what does it actually do? Uh it's just a remote interface for your charge controller which will allow you to access functions and display um, the monitoring. Awesome. And if you press this button, the light will come on, which helps you see the smiley face. Awesome. Fantastic. Right, okay. So we're going to go and get those stuck in and then we'll show you the setup when it's in. Sorted. So we've got the smiley face box that is up on, the smiley face box is up on the wall and we are now just about to, to do the turning on thing for the, for the controller. So here is the competent electric person to, to explain the, the things that are happening. All right. Well, the first thing we did was we got rid of this 20 amp fuse and put a nice breaker in there. 
At the moment, the panels aren't connected. So we've just got the, the load and our system, and we're going to turn it on to see what happens. You ready? Magic! Whee! It's sorted. Things yeah, are happening. We've, we've got stuff on. It's doing things. Mm -hmm. And is the smiley face box on? The smiley face is the happy. The smiley face is happy. Okay, got a happy smiley face on my smiley face box. That is totally my level. Sorted. <laughs> Wicked. Brilliant. Right. So, uh, so panels next. Yeah. Yeah, then. Sorted. So this is my smiley face box. I really like this. This is like, this is definitely solar power and electricity on my level. Um, so the proper name for it is a remote meter. Um, and this is really good. You can basically see everything in one place. So if I show you here, if you push the button, um, there we go. Look, you've got the, uh, you've got the nice smiley face, um, that shows you your panels are on and that shows you that your battery's charging and it shows you all your inputs and outputs on this as well. So literally one place, my charge controller is under a seat, so it's a little bit difficult to access, um, cause I've got a lot of cushions on here. Uh, very comfy dog. That's very important, but, uh, but yeah, it's a little bit difficult to get to the controller. So this is brilliant. And I can kind of check at a push of a button exactly what's going on with my solar system. Okay, so you get the solar charge controller, you get your smiley face box and you get your panels and you need a few other bits and pieces. So uh, here I have a lovely hand model next to a sleeping Alfie um, to show you what other kind of bits and bobs you need to get some solar up and running. So yeah, over to the hand model. So first of all, this is a 20 amp breaker, which is now going to be installed um, directly to the battery. Because at the moment, the system's installed into the output of the, of the uh, charge controller. But when you put the oven on and click for the lighter, it trips out the system. So we're going to bypass it, go straight to the battery, which needs its own breaker now. A cable to extend it to the battery and a connection for the negative. And while we're there, we'll pop in a temperature sensor which will go from the charge controller to the battery, which will help the charge controller tune the charging rate depending on the temperature. So that is my uh, my new fancy solar setup. Um, very massive thanks to Alan for helping me out with all of this. You are absolutely amazing, and uh, and yeah, I think it's very clear that uh, that the smiley face box is my level, and I would not be able to even know what to have got without you. So yeah, thank you for that. Um, and yeah, and massive thank you also to Laura at Bimble Solar. Laura, you are absolutely amazing, and thank you for the sweets that I got with my with my charge controller. That really, really made me smile. Peace and love.